now next let us go ahead and see what happens when I have a body with a line element oriented in an arbitrary direction maps on to a curve in the current configuration that is let me choose my basis E x E y E z I have the body I have two points in the body okay one like this now this is in the reference configuration okay now I applied some force I did something to the body it got displaced and now it is occupying this position okay now the same particles are occupying these two points okay and that line has become a curve like this okay so what happens is the straight line has deformed to a curve okay now let us say the direction of this straight line was initially a okay that is if this makes an angle theta with respect to the x axis a would be given by a is cos theta e x plus sin theta e y ok. So, a is given by that expression. Now, any point on the line would be given by s cos theta s sin theta 0 because I am in the x y plane with 0 as the ordinate this denotes the line a b say this is a b ok. Now, this curve uh, line a b ok and here s varies from 0 to l 0 to l ref where this is length of the line line ok. Now, what happens this deformed into a curve like this say I gave you the function I gave you the function deformation field function I gave psi as a function of x comma t this deformation field is known field is known okay then what will you do to find the position of the particles in this curve so x would be psi s cos theta e x plus s sin theta e y comma t right now if i were to what i have done i have found x as psi of x s cos theta e x plus s sin theta e y I am dropping the t because that is not of importance now y is psi of y which is s cos theta e x plus s sin theta e y and z is psi of z s cos theta e x plus s sin theta e y ok. Now, if I were to find the ar deformed arc length if I were to find this length 
which will denote it by S current okay S current would be square root of dou x by dou theta dou x by dou s the whole square plus dou y by dou s the whole square plus dou z by dou s the whole square d s integrated from 0 to L ref right because s is the variable here theta is a constant that is how we represent a line ok. So, now I want to formally compute this in general. So, let us do that. Now, I have what do I have? I have x which is a function of x comma t to be written as x some function of psi comma t ok. Now, I want to compute dou x by dou psi which will be dou psi by dou x dou x into dou x by dou psi ok. Now, this is nothing but dou x by dou x into dou x by dou psi this quantity is nothing but your deformation gradient f f times dou x by dou psi ok. So, what we have is the following relationship dou x by dou psi is equal to f times dou x by dou psi ok. What this means is it gives you the meaning of f, f is a linear function that maps tangent plane in the reference configuration to a tangent plane in the current configuration for the same curve ok. So, that is the meaning of the deformation gradient f ok. So, for a state in what is dou f dou capital X by dou psi dou capital X dou psi for straight line is line is it will be dou cap x by dou s that will be cos theta E x plus sin theta E y which is nothing but the direction A ok. So, now going back this is nothing but dou x by dou psi the magnitude of that ok. This entire thing under square root is dou x by dou psi the magnitude of that integrated over d s ok. So, s current would be integral magnitude of dou x by dou psi d psi from psi 0 to psi n. This from our previous definition will be nothing but psi 0 to psi n magnitude of f times dou x by dou psi from the definition of the deformation gradient that is what it is ok. For this I can rewrite it as psi 0 to psi n square root of f times dou x by dou psi dotted with f times dou x 
by dou psi d psi. We have already seen that if I have a dotted with b times c, this is nothing but b transpose a dot with c okay ends s current would be integral psi 0 to psi n square root of f transpose f dou x by dou psi dotted with dou x by dou psi d psi. This is psi 0 to psi n square root of c times a dot with a d psi where c is nothing but f transpose f this is the right Cauchy green deformation tensor. Okay. And here I have replaced dou x by dou psi to be A because I considered because the in the reference configuration we considered a straight line okay so this is the current arc length of the curve in the current configuration so we were interested in the such ratio lambda along a direction a which is s current by s reference which will be in our case it will be integral psi 0 to psi n square root of c a dot with a d psi divided by integral psi 0 to psi n a dot with a d psi. Okay. We will stop here for today's lecture. In the next lecture, we will simplify it and get the linearized strain tensor from here. Okay, thank you.